it's morgan lee here from fancy froggy and welcome in today's video i have some errands to run for my clay small business so i'm going to bring you guys along with me and this might be a little bit of a studio vlog too we'll have to see um i'm guessing so Right, so whenever I was driving here, I thought to myself, I really want a cold brew, but I want a Christmas drink. And I'm kind of wondering why Starbucks doesn't have that already. Um, but I'm just gonna make my own when I order and I'm gonna try it out and then we'll let you guys know how it goes. Hi! Yeah, so it's a venti vanilla cream cold brew with um, white chocolate and peppermint. No problem, you know, for you today. Um, that will be all. Thank you. Uh, I don't know why I get so anxious when I order. <laughs> uh, let's just take a moment. Look at her. She's beautiful. Guys. Oh my gosh. I'm not even exaggerating. You guys need to run run to your starbucks right now and get this this is so good this is my new favorite drink of the season i really did something with this all right so i'm here at my first destination the first small business errand that i have to run is i have to pick up some prints so i am picking up um an art print it's actually a christmas one it's actually the first one that i'm going to release because currently i just do clay um and then i have some bookmarks that are of the same print and then i also have some little fragile cards that are super cute fingers crossed they all turned out well but i have faith um so yeah let's go pick them up the first thing that i picked up was 500 careful and fragile cards i designed these cards on procreate they're gonna go in every clay order but i like how this little guy has like a little broken heart he's just like me we're both fragile emotionally and physically <laughs> one thing i really like about these and that i kind of intended for whenever i was designing them is you can like cut this portion off and just like keep this and it's kind of like a little art print like careful and fragile i think it's cute i'm definitely gonna hang up one of these up in my workspace so i'm gonna check out my prints now i'm a little disappointed with the colors i definitely like the bookmarks the bookmarks are cute as you can see like on the bookmark you can see the texture especially on the plate for some reason it's just not here on this version it's a learning experience it's my first time to do prints and i didn't order like 200 of them or anything like that so it's fine realized that I messed up because I didn't grab a card. All right, I am back and I somehow managed to only grab one bag. I think not having like a cart or anything really helped me grab only what I need. I don't know, I love a little retail therapy, but sometimes I'd be retailing a little bit too much. I got this big linoleum carvable sheet. Um, you may have seen, but I make some of my own stamps. For packaging but i want to get into making um some stamps to make my own like canvas totes and, and see how that goes i'm really excited i got some more eye pens i use them all the time with my keychain and then i got some uv resin i haven't tried this brand before i think it's just the hobby lobby brand um but i'm gonna try it out hopefully it works well i'm only gonna try it on one figure at first to see how it goes and then a little unnecessary purchase but i love gift giving it's one of my love languages i got this little dragon ball z figurine for my husband um i think he's gonna love it i think it's so cute and large i've been looking at it for a while at hobby lobby and today i decided to just go for it i was like i'm doing good so I decided to grab this and then um since i was just doing so good i decided to go to a five below since it was right next to hobby lobby and i really was hoping that they had the christmas squishmallows um one of the workers told me that they would have them this week but they weren't there and i was really sad about that um so either they're just not out yet or someone got to them before me uh, which is very likely, but surprisingly, they did have a lot of Squishmallows in the store today. And I actually videoed them all, so I'll insert a little clip of all the Squishmallows, lots and lots of dogs. 
Um, but I did grab some more DBZ stuff for my husband. These, this is like 12 different posters. I think he's going to love it. Probably put them up with like all of his little like pops and stuff. I don't really know, but I know he'll probably like that. Um, for myself, I saw this cute little Hello Kitty calendar. It's a 16 month calendar and the images in this calendar were just so freaking cute and i thought this would look really cute like hanging up in my office um i don't know i, I just want to get more things like this and i've actually been wanting to hang up some prints soon and i thought that this would just look great with the prints and then i also got a five dollar pack of 25 paintbrushes now i know these aren't the best quality i'm definitely not going to be like painting masterpieces with these but um, for someone that like works with like resin and polyurethane and like glazes a lot and like kind of like ruins brushes quite often, I decided I could use these brushes for things like that, um, where I know the chances of the brush getting ruined are higher. I can just use these, um, cause it was such a good deal. I couldn't really pass it up. I've missed you so much. All right. So I think I've spent enough money this morning. I'm going to head back home. On that note, I'm not crying. Are you crying? Hello, guys. I am back. I am joined here with my kitten. I just finished making supper and now I am in my office and I'm about to get to work. Um, I'm going to clean up some of my frogs first and get them ready to be glazed and painted. Last night I developed a new frog desk buddy and I'm so excited for it. It's so adorable. It's this little fairy. It has the wings and here's what the back looks like. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be so cute. Add some glitter to it to make it all sparkly and magical. Um, I have some little mushrooms that I got to paint and glaze for my keychains. And then I have these frogs I haven't gotten to yet. Hi! So you may have noticed a different background. I know it's kind of messy. Um, but for the reason for this is, is I've actually kind of changed up my whole studio. Um, yeah, I've completely relocated. I'm in the same room but completely different location. Uh, you could argue that it's a different room. And what I mean by that is, is I now have a closet office and that might sound like a downgrade. Um, however, I view it as an upgrade because now I have this room that was my office as a whole extra room in my house um, because I didn't need a whole room. And so now I'm super stoked about this. I'm loving the new environment and I can really do whatever I want in this closet. Um, so I'm just excited for that. Um, I have a lot of plans for this closet and I'm so excited for them. Um, but yeah, if you're interested in watching me kind of move my office, uh, my art studio, um, I do have another video for that. It will be out either before or after this one. I think it will probably be coming out after this video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. As you can see today, I did a lot of work outside because surprisingly, it's really nice outside. I say surprisingly because usually this time of year, it's really cold, but not today, which is really surprising because it's uh, November. But yeah, I'm gonna watch some of my college lectures, maybe some YouTube, get some more work done. I uh, cleaned up my little mushrooms and I've added the little polka dots to them. So I'm gonna go ahead and start glazing them. huge dilemma and I'm frustrated so my old method of glazing my was by using a polyurethane crystal 
gloss seal. However, I have found that I significantly like the UV resin better. Significantly like it. And because I'm a bit of a perfectionist about this stuff and I don't want to send out something until I love it, I'm about to redo everything that I've worked on and that I've glazed with the polyurethane. So this is a bit frustrating. I think in the end I'll be happy, but that just means a lot of time has been wasted. I hate to say that it was wasted because I learned something from it. Just wish I would have figured it out a little bit sooner. But what I'm gonna do is, cause I don't have a heart to throw it away yet. I'm just gonna put them all in this box. So I don't have to look at them, you know, out of sight, out of mind. But I know they still exist because I think if I knew that they're just sitting in the trash can, I'd be really sad. So it's time to box up all of the frogs that I'm no longer going to keep. Thank goodness I only glazed one of these. So only one of them has to get boxed up. I'm in the process of taking the coat off this. So I think I can salvage it. But uh, the process of taking the coat off almost takes as long as just making this frog. So I think that means that this one's gonna go in the box. This one is also going in the box, unfortunately. Say goodbye. So we are on to a new chapter now in life. With my sprout frogs, essentially what I have decided is I think I'm going to do um, a frog that follows the same body style as this one here. I love the shape of this frog. However, I'm going to do a very similar color to what that frog originally is. Um, I want to go with something a bit more natural. So I think I'm going to go for more of like a brown toad um, with like a purple hue to it. Um, and then with the sprout on the head, I love the sprout. The sprout is going to be the exact same. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start trying to make that color that I, that I have in my head. Um, so yeah, let's get to it. Okay, I'm finally done mixing my colors. Um, I don't even know why, but it took over an hour just to get the color that I had in my head. Um, I'm not even kidding you, like over an hour. And I didn't even make that much of the color. Um, so I guess I'm gonna make like a sample of what I want now and use that for promos and then kind of make these frogs to order. And um, depending on the popularity, then I can make a large batch if I need to. Um, but yeah, the color looks like this. Um, it looks a little different in the camera. Um, but in real life, it has a little bit more saturation. And then I have the second tone here that I'm going to use for spots on the frog. So yeah, like I said, I'm going to make the frog have this kind of body. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start building the structure of my frogs here. And I'm hoping that after this, maybe I will have time to work on my cowboy frogs. But if I don't have time to build my cowboy frogs, I may just glaze my little mushrooms that I talked about earlier. Um, yeah, we'll see. It is pretty late now and I'm pretty tired, so I think I'm gonna clock out. Is there anything you have to say? I felt that. I'm feeling like him. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you liked it and you made it this far, please subscribe or like the video. And I hope to see you very soon. Bye!